Howdy howdy. Sitting here with a, an interesting lock, um, a Corbin, pinned by, oh you can't really see the label from there can you, but it's lock brass, um, complete with mummified key, this black thing here, I guess I'll show you that a bit better later. Um, I just picked this, it took me, I don't know, 14 minutes or something ridiculous. Uh, that included a little bit of chatter, introducing the lock, but <clears throat> uh, I'm tired and feeling crappy, and I don't know, do I want to upload a video that long and bore you guys to death with it? I'm not too sure. So, anyway, attempt number two. That's a five pin lock. And we're going to go for it. Uh, I'm going to use this offset diamond. And we're going to see how we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So what can I tell you about this lock? Ooh, got a little bit of a shift in the core there. Uh, feels like there are some serrations in there. Whoops, just lost my false set. getting somewhere quickly this time. Maybe that last pick helped. Hmm. Let's see if I can continue without destroying what I've managed to achieve so far. I think like this pin needs to move here. Well, I felt like I just lost a bit of my full set. Oops, now I'm dropping everything because I just tried to change my tension. Lovely lock. Interested to see what's inside it. Even though I opened it before, I didn't bother looking inside. Haven't had a look at the key. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can orient myself a bit better. As usual, I'm having problems looking around the camera. Okay, got to do that full step back a little bit deeper again. Gonna be trying to be careful so I don't lose this full set. Again. Wind is blowing a gale outside. Hmm. I'm trying to find out what I need to be picking here. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, I feel like I've lost all feedback for a second. What does this mean? Am I hung up on something like a T-pin or I'm caught in a really deep spool or something? Am I open? No shit. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> ah, attempting not to swear and failed dismally. So holy cow. She's open. I'm stunned as a mullet. Like I said, that first attempt took me a little while. And that was a whole bunch quicker. So let's uh, try and get organized. I'm going to use my budget pinning tray that I made from a, a, a lens filter case. So, let's carefully keep the lock in frame. Put it there. Bring this pinning tray into view. And, uh, We'll get down to disassembling this puppy so we can have a look, finally, what's inside. A second, I'm gonna deal with some crap. Okay, sorry about that. A little hell break out here. Um, so let's see what we can do without getting a closer view. Okay, let's see. Have a closer look. Let me leave that out of the way. So Really cool pins. We'll wing it. Let's put this one around the wrong way. So, let's see if we can work out what we have here. So, um, we'll start with the key pins, shall we? Uh, well, start from the back, why not? You have a standard pin here. Um, this will be another standard pin. Another standard pin here. So, and another standard pin here. So, two, four, five, and six are all standard pins. However, in uh, one and three, I was just trying to check if there were serrations on that. I don't think so. So, one and three are T pin key pins. Very tricky. So, I look up the top, I can see more T pins. Wow! Something tells me I might have got a little bit lucky on that one. I said the first time took me a while. Um, so we have a nice interest. Well, actually, these are all, these looks like upside down uh, driver pins. Cool, cool. So we have a nice spool in one, nice deep cut. We have another deeper, longer kind of spool section on the um, on pin two. And in pin three, we have a T pin. Uh, um, Wow, pin 4 looks really nice. 
It's like kind of a double section spool. I'm not sure if the bottom is reduced diameter. It looks like it. Um, and five, we have a serrated uh, T-pin. And in six, we have this itty bitty tiny T-pin. So, wow, it's like a T-pin city inside this lock. The most T-pins I've seen so far inside a lock. Uh, so now let's have a look at the uh, cylinder and see what we got inside here. Doesn't seem to be serrations. Uh, let me have a closer look if I can grab something. It looks to be all normal inside there. All these springs seem to be standard here. Although the last one seems to be a little longer, so I might have to pull those out in a minute. Uh, one boy that with that here, I'll pull them out and take some photographs and uh, see how we go. So, um, oh God, I'm so disorganized, it's ridiculous. <coughs> Importantly, uh, I need to say thank you to uh, Lock Brass for this very nice lock. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that. I Good mixture of torture and uh, fun, which is exactly what a challenge lock should be. Um, it shouldn't be easy, and it shouldn't be impossible. So, lovely work, Lock Brass. Thank you very much. And um, I also need to say thank you to uh, Randy Perkins for um, sending this lock my way so I could have a crack at it. So, um, I'll finish off here and see if I can put this video together in some sort of orderly form. Um, in the meantime, um, thanks to all subscribers, old and new, um, you all rock, as does the entire Locksport community, which I think I've said before. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say peace and respect to you all, and thank you very much. Um, happy pickings, and I'll catch up with you all on another day. I'm out. Bye for now.